my good friend uh, Jason Battle started a management company. We were kind of like hanging out, and uh, one of our other friends said, "You should be Brio's manager." And he's like, huh, yeah, "That's a funny idea, you know." And um, yeah, basically he took that and ran with it. He's like, "Well, I do know a bunch of DJs. I know in this music scene, you know." He pretty much introduced me to you know a big part of the scene. Um, I was big into like hip hop and stuff, but then we started going to dubstep and um, electronic shows, and uh, so he pretty much just decided to take his skills of networking and um, you know like meeting people and being kind of the the face front for uh, DJs and artists, and you know so he's he, he helps me get my gigs and helps me um, really like focus on on my music, you know where a lot of a lot of artists like spend time. Um, trying to you know market themselves and figure out what's going to be best and uh, you know it's nice to have like a, a manager and uh, a friend that can tell you you know hey this is working this isn't working that kind of shit. So I think it's been six or seven months now since we've done done breathe and it was just it was super organic it was like it was just the same way that you know um, uh, JB started battle management. It's just like, you know, hey, like we we always get together and drink and, and you know play music and just you know rock out. Why don't we just contact a venue and and uh, do the same thing, but invite people and, and have our friends come and play. And that's a big reason why it's um, why it's you know a free night. We want to make sure that it's like we give local talent the the chance to come and play as well as big big name artists and stuff but it's always going to be a free night because the idea of breathe is you just come you hang out with your friends and you, you know you have some beers or drinks or whatever and just just have fun and i think that that's like the biggest thing that, that people walk away uh, from breathe with is that if they just have a good time it's like it's not we're not trying to be anything crazy it's just is what it is you know they asked me if I'm a party promoter, and I said, no, I'm not. I'm a manager. My company is a management company. The party is the extension of my company. If anything that comes from this, I wish that more people would realize that they have control over their life, and they don't have to be scared to just do something that they want to do. The whole essence in battle manager started as if I can be a conduit mm -hmm. for you to achieve your dreams, mm -hmm. then I'm going to put myself in a position to do that. Just keep focus on what we're doing and people will come. As long as we're there having fun, people will come. Scott Brio is uh, a uh, producer first and foremost, I guess, um, and a DJ, and I don't know, just kind of entrepreneur of, of, of you know lots of things. Um, I I've been producing for for years now, for probably like 10 or 11 years. Um, I started when I was like like 19 or 20, and. Um, you know, it was it was much more in, in like hip hop and stuff. So that's where my roots are is hip hop. I was really big into you know artists like Living Legends and um, the, you know the big underground scene, MF Doom and all that stuff. And then later like Jay Dilla and uh, Mad Lib. And uh, that's kind of where you know like if, if you've heard it in my my music, like I have kind of this like kind of abstract style, I guess. And a lot of samples I use and chopping and and uh, doing like edits and stuff. And, that comes from, that my, I guess my hip hop roots is because if you listen to a lot of that old hip hop stuff, man, they don't they don't care, you know, if like if you're listening to that and you're not gonna be like, whoa, is radio ready? You're gonna be like, no, it's fucking fresh. It's what it is. Like it's dope. Like where did you find that sample? Kind of shit. And so that's what I'm I'm big on. The part of me that's um, finding the balance between the abstract and what is commercially viable. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. um, I think that there's a pretty easy. I'm not easy, but there's a there's a balance that you can find between the two, sure. and uh, you know, so that, that's basically what I'm doing is uh, trying to find the balance. Uh, 
I don't consider myself special. Like, why, why would you have to, you know, like, and nor does he or, or battle or any of us. It's just, dude, just people, man. It's yeah, like, yeah, it's I got fucking parking tickets and fucking, yeah, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, like all that shit. You pay yeah. rent, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. No, I think it's funny, though. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't Bell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that wasn't me. Right.